Hey, it's Kiara Marie back at you with another hair video. In this video, I will be doing kinky twists over locks. Now, I did do a previous video where I did passion twists over locks. So if you have not checked that out, go look when you finish this video and um, see how I achieved that hairstyle. Now, for kinky twists over locks, this is the type of hair that I am using. This is the Natural Passion Braid, and it is crochet. And um, it says passion, but the texture is more like a, a kinky twist type texture. And um, I wanted to try a lighter color, so this is T1B slash 27, and it is 14 inches. I can't wait to see how this will turn out. So this is how the hair looks when it is unraveled. You would be using one of these per lock. And you have to be careful when you unravel it because it can get really frizzy. So um, take note of that. And um, I usually start at the back of my hair. So I will go ahead and put all of my hair up and um, start at that point. Before I put the twist in, I will be using my favorite locking gel, or the only locking gel that I really tried. Um, it is the Jamaican Mango and Lime Locking Gel. So I will use this at the roots before I put the hair in. Okay, so here goes an example. We'll start by putting the lock gel at the root. We're gonna do this one. And it's been about a month since I had my locks retwisted, so there's a, a lot of new growth. Okay, so twist this here, and I'm just using a clip to clip it down until I get the piece ready. So I already unraveled this piece. So then I'll take the piece I'm working on, unclip it, and I'll start by putting the fake hair at the top of my lock. Okay, so I'll put the fake hair at the top. And I wrap it around like this. So my lock is in between the fake hair. And then I'll braid first for a little and then I'll start twisting. So if you can see that. So I'll go under and grab a piece of the fake hair and then bring the other piece of the fake hair under the lock and start a braid. And make sure it's tight at the root so it doesn't slide down your lock. Okay, start braiding. Okay, now you can twist. And I've done 15 locks so far. There's 15 pieces of hair in each pack. And I got a total of four packs. Let's see. Now at the bottom where your lock stops, it may stick out. And that's when hair jewelry comes in to cover it up. And also this hair says 14 inches, but it seems to be much longer, more like 18 or 20 inches. Okay, so you see where the lock sticks out a little bit? This is the lock jewelry I have, and I will put that at the end of my lock right here. And you can get the lock jewelry from the beauty supply store. It's only about a dollar or two a pack. Okay, there we are. And I'll come back when I'm finished with the rest. Okay, I'm doing one more quick example because that last angle was a struggle and it may have been hard for you all to see. So I'm doing a piece in the front. And look at all this new growth. Whew. 
That's why I use lock gel to um, smooth the new growth down and blend it in with the lock. And this is a thin lock. Ooh, I might have to combine this later. All right, but you twist your lock, you get your hair, you put the hair over your lock like this, and you kind of just hang the hair on your lock. And then you'll start to braid. So you just take it and braid. You wanna make sure it's nice and tight. Braid for an inch or two and then twist. Now this piece probably won't need hair jewelry because it's so thin and it can easily blend in with the hair. All right, now I'll come back to you with the results. Ooh, y'all, look at these results. I love the color. And I love the way they feel. And I just love how they turned out overall. Show y'all the back. I put a lot of hair jewelry in here. Ooh, ooh, so cute. Yeah, it took me about six and a half hours and I had to take a couple of breaks, so be prepared for that. Yeah, so let me know what you think about these amazing passion twists or kinky twists. They remind me of the passion twists that I did last time. And take note that the pack said 14 inches, but you can see they are much longer than 14 inches. So if you want them shorter, you probably would want to get um, 10 or 12 all right, y'all, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll be dropping the next video sometime next week. All right, thanks for tuning in.